The Duke of Edinburgh hosts a reception in London. Members of the Grand Ducal family of Luxembourg attend the closing of the Octave in Luxembourg City. Princess Sophia of Sweden attends a presentation of merit badges in Stockholm. Queen Margrethe II of Denmark holds an audience in Copenhagen. And the Royal Hashemite Court releases the official monogram and slogan for the upcoming royal wedding in Jordan. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for May 15th, 2023. In Amman, the Royal Hashemite Court released the monogram and slogan of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan and Miss Rajwa Khalid bin Musad bin Abdul Aziz Al Saif last evening on the occasion of their upcoming wedding next month. Per a press release via the Royal Hashemite Court, quote, the logo slash monogram designed for the Crown Prince and Miss Rajwa's wedding is a unique representation of our celebration. The word chosen is Nafarho or Nafra, Arabic for We Rejoice, which captures the essence of the event as it aims to bring happiness and positivity to everyone. The word Nafraho or Nafra is divided into two parts to amplify Crown Prince Al Hussein and Miss Rajwa's initials. The typography is in traditional and simple Arabic calligraphy, which adds a touch of cultural authenticity and identity. End quote. The royal wedding will take place on Thursday, June 1st at Sakhan Palace, the same location where their majesties King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan were married. Thereafter, the new Crown Prince couple of Jordan will participate in a wedding procession through the streets of Amman to Al Husseini Palace, where a private wedding reception will take place. Guests attending the royal wedding include members of the royal family of Jordan, prominent heads of state, and close friends. Naturally, members from other royal houses, such as Bahrain, Morocco, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and Qatar, will attend the royal wedding. This morning, the Danish royal court confirmed that their royal highnesses, Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, will attend the royal wedding. The Swedish Royal Court also confirmed that their Royal Highnesses Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden will attend. And the Norwegian Royal Court confirmed the attendance of their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Håkon and Crown Princess Mette Marit of Norway. As I mentioned last week, the Prime Minister of Jordan has declared June 1st a public holiday throughout the kingdom. Moreover, the Royal Wedding will be aired live on Jordanian television and online. I know several news networks will air the royal wedding online, including Amman News, Roya, and the Kingdom of Jordan's state network, Jordan TV. The Royal Hashemite Court also confirmed that Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan will host a pre-wedding banquet for the couple on May 22nd. More information about the royal wedding will be released in due course. In Varuts, her Royal Highness, Hereditary Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein, attended the International Family Day organized by the Liechtenstein Red Cross. During the opening, the Hereditary Princess spoke about the upcoming opening of the House of Families, an initiative of the Liechtenstein Red Cross. In Luxembourg City, the Royal Highnesses Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Therese of Luxembourg accompanied by their Royal Highnesses Prince Felix and Princess Claire of Luxembourg and His Royal Highness Prince Louis of Luxembourg, attended a traditional pontifical mass at the Notre Dame Cathedral of Luxembourg on the occasion of the closing of the Octave of Our Lady of Luxembourg yesterday morning. Thereafter, the Grand Ducal family, including His Royal Highness Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg, along with 42 groups consisting of pilgrims, Worshippers and members of various religious associations participated in a solemn procession through the streets of Luxembourg City to the Palais Grand Ducal. After a prayer in front of the Palais, members of the Grand Ducal family, which included Her Royal Highness Princess Stephanie of Luxembourg, His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Luxembourg, His Royal Highness Prince Francois of Luxembourg, Princess Amalia Gabriella of Nassau, and Prince Liam of Nassau, returned to the Palais Grand Ducal and soon appeared on the balcony to wave to the hundreds of well-wishers. On Saturday, outside of Brussels, Her Royal Highness Princess Claire of Belgium visited the ASBL Tata Association. 
According to the Belgium Royal Court, the ASBL Tata Association is a, quote, learning network that brings together citizens and businesses in order to empower young people from the socially vulnerable backgrounds and their surroundings. The Tata Association accompanies more than 1,800 young people in Brussels and the surrounding areas, thanks to its weekend schools and its alumni networks. Through its weekend schools and alumni networks, Tata offers extracurricular activities in terms of learning, while also keeping an eye on the young person's well-being. End quote. In Oslo, Her Majesty Queen Sonia of Norway and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Haakon of Norway presided over the embarkation of the Royal Yacht Norway, thus marking the official opening of the summer sailing season for its crew and officers. During today's embarkation, the Crown Prince presided over the inspection of the yacht to make sure she's, meaning the yacht, is, quote, ready for another hectic season of county tours and other official programs, end quote. It is an annual tradition that His Majesty King Harald V of Norway participates in the embarkation of the royal yacht at the beginning of May, but as you may know by now, His Majesty the King is on sick leave until Tuesday, May 16th. Speaking of His Majesty the King, he was discharged this afternoon from the National Hospital in Oslo. His Majesty the King was admitted to the hospital last Monday for an infection that needed to be treated. During today's event, the embarkation, Her Majesty the Queen spoke with the Norwegian network NRK about His Majesty the King, stating, quote, Fortunately, things are going very well, and he's on his way home now, end quote. Now that His Majesty the King is at home resting, he is still on official sick leave until tomorrow. At this time, it is unknown if His Majesty the King will appear on the balcony with the rest of the royal family on Wednesday, May 17th, which is Constitution Day, also known as National Day. When asked if His Majesty the King will appear on the balcony with the rest of the royal family prior to noon, Her Majesty the Queen replied, quote, I believe that it will be decided tomorrow. We hope so. End quote. In Copenhagen, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark held a meeting with the President of the Czech Republic, Peter Pavel, at Christian the Ninth Slot at Amelienborg. President Pavel is in Denmark to attend the two-day Copenhagen Democracy Summit. Yesterday afternoon, Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, as patron, attended the DR Girls Choir Concert, held at the DR Concert Hall in Copenhagen. According to the Danish Royal Court, the DR Girls Choir performs across the country and abroad as musical ambassadors for Denmark and the Danish tradition of group singing. End quote. In Stockholm, Her Royal Highness Princess Sophia of Sweden attended the Sophia Fest and the presentation of merit badges held at the Sophia Hemet. On Sunday, in Stockholm, His Royal Highness Prince Daniel of Sweden, as patron, attended the finals of the 2023 Basketball League Special. According to the Swedish Royal Court, the Basketball League Special is a league for players with intellectual disabilities. At the end of the finals, which were between Sweden and Norway, the prince presented medals to all those who competed. On Saturday in Stockholm, the prince attended the opening of the 2023 Market Art Fair, the leading contemporary art fair in the Nordic region. Established in 2006 by galleries representing the Nordic countries of Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden, the Market Art Fair has become a trusted meeting and marketplace in the heart of the Nordic art industry. During the fair, selected galleries showcase an exclusive selection of the most interesting art on the Nordic scene focusing on solo projects as well as carefully curated presentations. Each year, the fair connects international collectors, institutions, art professionals, the press, and guests. In London, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, as patron of the Duke of Edinburgh's Award, hosted a celebration reception in the gardens at Buckingham Palace for young people who received the Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award. 
Over the next few days, the popular Duke will host several receptions for DOE award winners. On Sunday in Wembley, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, as president of the Football Association, attended the 2023 Vitality Women's FA Cup Final between Chelsea and Manchester United at Wembley Stadium. Meanwhile, Lady Louise Mountbatten-Windsor participated in Class 127 in the Pole Roger Meet of the British Driving Society on the final day of the Royal Windsor Horse Show on the grounds of In London, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Kent, attended the combined cavalry parade service at Hyde Park. According to a press release, 2,000 cavalry troops, veterans, and cadets marched with military bands to honor members of the cavalry and yeomanry who fell during World War I and subsequent conflicts. On Sunday in Tokyo, their Imperial Majesties, Emperor Emeritus Akihito, and Empress Emerita Mashiko of Japan arrived at the JR Tokyo Station for a vacation to the Kyoto and Nara prefectures. According to the Imperial Household Agency, this is the first time in four years the Emperor Emeritus and Empress Emerita have visited the rural area since the pandemic began in Japan. This morning, the Imperial couple, quote, watched the procession of the Ayo Matsuri, one of Kyoto's three major festivals. In the afternoon, the imperial couple visited the Daishoji Temple and Museum. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness, Princess Maha Shaktri of Thailand, visited the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Lyon, France. The church was built in the 12th century and became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1998. In Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed al Nahyan of Abu Dhabi attended the opening ceremony of the 17th edition of the Middle East Rail held at the Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Center. The Middle East Rail is the region's leading event for rail innovation, technology, and strategy. Attendees to the event include senior UAE officials, international transportation ministers and chairpersons, and CEOs of some of the world's largest railroad companies, in addition to key figures and manufacturing companies, representatives of the transportation industry. And finally, in Lisbon, His Royal Highness Duarte Pio, Duke of Branganza, is celebrating his 78th birthday. Born in Bern, Switzerland, the Duke is the eldest son of the late Dom de Warde Nuno, Duke of Branganza, and Maria Francesca of Orleon Branganza. His father was a grandson of King Miguel I, and his mother was a great-granddaughter of Emperor Pedro I of Brazil. On May 13, 1995, the Duke married Miss Isabel Inés de Castro Cuvelo de Heredia. Today, the royal couple are proud parents of three, Dom Alfonso, Prince of Baira, Infanta Maria Francesca of Portugal, and Dom Dinis, the fourth Duke of Porto. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. I will be back tomorrow on Tuesday, May 16th, with all the latest world news. And it's going to be a very busy day. <laughs> we have events with the Princess of Wales, her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain, Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, Their Majesties King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden, and so much more. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, have a wonderful Monday evening, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.